Today's video is sponsored by OneFootball. Available now on the Apple App Store and the Android Play Store, get all the latest news, fixtures, videos, scores, stats, and key dates for your favorite football teams from around the globe. It's free to download, and of course, the link is in the description. If you love football, if you love the game, download the app today. So welcome ladies and gentlemen, we're back today and we are going to be heading into the Copa del Rey, that's right, we're taking on Alavaz today, and uh, yeah, we're basically going to put the two matches together, because what's the point of watching two back-to-back -back games, it doesn't make any sense, uh, we'll make the matches a little bit shorter and sort of condense them, so I think we'll go for a 10-minute you know, match is respectable. We'll see how it goes here in the opening game. Uh, we're going to be away from home, so there's not going to be too many changes. I was pretty happy with the last match. If you haven't seen it, a lot of goals, so of course check it out. But overall, uh, we're going to make a few minimal changes. Uh, Vallejo is actually going to come in at the back. I'm going to give him a shot with Varane today. Uh, Sun's going to be rested because he's down. I'm going to bring in Pavon. I know he's not really a right mid. He's more of a, a winger winger. But still, he's still a quality player. An 80 overall, I'm sure. It's not going to make a huge difference. We're going to obviously play Tony Crows. He's been fantastic this season. Going to keep the same partnership there with Casemiro. Put Hazard on the left. And I'm actually going to go for Diaz and Junior. I'm going to play him as a second striker. The young boy. Very pacey. I know he's on a breakthrough right now. So I've got to try and play him. Play him as much as possible and obviously there's players on the bench if we need to i know someone wanted to see uh regulon play i would play him in this game but purely because marcelo's on blue i'm gonna start him but if in the next game he's not then i will play uh sort of the left back and see how he does do we've got Rod uh, rodrigo as well if needed isco felix of course so still a lot of quality i don't know if we need a sensio uh, let's put nacho there just in case we need a center back yeah, I think that should be fine. ZX still all the way down. I don't know what's the matter with him. Uh, but either way, there's a look at the lineup. We did play Alvarez uh, not too long ago, actually, in the league. But obviously, we need to, to do well in the Copa del Rey, no question. So I hope you guys do enjoy it. We'll dive right into the action. Uh, we'll give us the away kit for this one. Should we go for the away or should we just go for white? I think we might just go white. Let's go back to the home kit. That should be good. All right, I hope you guys do enjoy it. First match, Copa del Rey. Let's get into it. So the Copa del Rey gets underway today. Alavaz taking on the league leaders of Real Madrid who've yet to lose a match in La Liga so far. Six wins out of six. But of course, this is a cup competition. Anything can happen. But Luigi knows his side have to get off to a good start away from home. Well, 20 minutes gone, it's been a, a little bit tentative, you'd say, by both teams. Real Madrid not really found a groove yet, but here is a chance for them. Diaz, lovely ball through. We know Tony Crows has almost given the free range this season to just push forward. He scored so many goals already, and some important goals as well. He's got a great free kick in the last game. Now this is a chance for Real Madrid. Junior looking to play it back to Pavon. The clearance away. Rafael Varane with a towering leap. Here is Junior. He's going to hit that one. But the deflection took it all. <laughs> the sting out of it. I'm not quite sure what the goal he was doing there. Casemiro. Junior. Still going. Feeds it out wide towards Marcelo. Manages to keep it as well. Hazard, that's lovely feet by him. Still going. Oh, what about that for a move? And then it fizzed into the arms of the keeper. But the Belgian international showing how good he is with his feet. Would have been some goal. And this is where the pressure mounts. And Real Madrid can be a real threat. Diaz closed down well. We've only got 10 minutes to play till half time. There's not been too many chances. Here's Pina. Big at eight. Ball over the top. Casemiro gives chase. And that is a great challenge by him there. Looking for Diaz. And there's a space through the middle here. And this is how quickly they can just break forward. 
Great ball, but Hazard just couldn't get the strike away quick enough. Credit to the uh, defending there. And now here comes Andrea Zola. A couple of players in the box, went near post, and the spectacular effort by Diaz has uh, caused the ball to go out for a corner. Fantastic ball in, some real whip on it as well, and that was heading goal bound. Tony Crows with the delivery, fizzes it in. Head of clear, Rennie. He's got some pace, but he just hasn't really got involved in today's fixture yet. Pina has not much support. He's got two uh, white shirts around him. Does well, though. Lays it inside. Gets half a yard, and it's uh, a comfortable save for Courtois. Referee just having a word. Casemiro wants the yellow. I don't think there was a yellow needed. Let's have another look. Just got clipped there, didn't he, by Wakaso? It's going to be Tony Crows to have a go, and he's just rifled it over the bar. A little bit disappointing for his standards. Headed on. Oh, it's headed back inside. A chance for Remy, and what a stop that is by Courtois. Marcelo gets it out. So Ramage's first change, Isco replacing Casemiro. Well, there's the possession stats. Real Madrid certainly have had nearly 60%. That's a good ball in, wasn't it? But a risky place to go ahead and lose that. Pavon brings it away. That's a, a late one right there. But now Real Madrid can spring it around the other way. And a chance for Junior, who's actually seen the run out wide here for Vallejo, has actually come all the way up from defence. Junior, I thought he would have had the legs there, but he didn't. Looks like they've uh, possibly had a switch as well. Hazard is going to go more advanced now. And that's a fantastic ball through the middle. And Remy is onside. And he has put them ahead. Great ball. Splitting pass. And a big upset here for Real Madrid. They put players forward. The Spanish Giants. They got caught. And we know Remy's quick. And he had the quality to finish it. Going to be a long throw. Good control and a great overlapping run here. Can they grab a second? They nearly did. And that was a late, late challenge. And the referees deem that a corner. I'll tell you what, Real Madrid have got away with that. Could have been a penalty. Ocaso well, to take the corner. How's the delivery? It's not bad at all, but it's over the bar. Well, another change as Felix replaces Pavon. That's well, amazing how one game Real Madrid can play one way and then just a couple of days later and uh, they're really struggling here right now. Dispossessed again in a silly position. Managing to tidy up just about. As Tony Crows gets it out wide. Hazard. There's a quick give and go but players are getting very tired now with only 15 minutes left on the clock. Of course, it wouldn't be the be-all, end-all for Real Madrid to lose this by goal to nil. Of course, they still have to go back to the Bernabeu. But hang on a minute. There very well could be another goal here if they don't quickly close this down. Great challenge, though, by Andrea Zola at the death. And he had to make that one. And now here is Eden Hazard. Felix. Diaz. Good bit of play, but a great challenge as well. Just trying to get past the final third. Not happening. Here's Martin. Trisola backtracking. Trying to hold him up. Ball's fed up the line. It wasn't a good ball at all. Now Ramajid have got players forward. Flicked on. Hazard's got some space. He's onside. But he needs some bodies in the box. Hazard lays it back. Comes across again. Flicked on. Is it all a little bit too much? Andrea Zola now. Couple more players in the middle. Just couldn't find Diaz. And away we go again. It's been a lively second half. Certainly more entertaining than the first. And that's a sloppy place to give it away. Junior. Good physical challenge there. And a tidy header back to the keeper. 
And Alaves now are a few minutes away. Well, we're going to say that. They nearly gave it away. Real Madrid are high pressing, trying to find that equalising goal. It would be massive for them. We know they can score late. And now a chance for Hazard. He is going to strike it, tipped away by the goalie. It may have been heading just wide anyway. Hoof clear. And that is going to be the full-time whistle. It's a big result. And there's all to play for in the second leg. And Luigi knows it. Well, it's not quite the result we wanted, was it? It's fine. We won't panic. I mean, we did technically have enough chances to win it. But uh, anyway, back to the drawing board. We'll make some changes in the next game. Uh, I don't know. A little bit disappointed. I think we missed Sun up top, maybe. Uh, but we'll try and bounce back. Anyway, let's dive right into the second match now. Just going to cut how, cut everything out and get right into the second leg at the Bernabeu. So we return at the Santiago Bernabeu for today's matchup between Real Madrid, of course, and Alaves. And, well, Luigi's side have a lot of work to do. They trail by a goal to nil after the first leg just a couple of days ago. We'll take a look at the lineups and see exactly the changes that have been made. So we take a look at Real Madrid. No Eden Hazard today. He starts on the bench. Not 100% match fit. Pavon comes into play. It's Diaz and Sun up top with Junior, Casemiro and Tony Kroos who's been instrumental so far this season. Alavaz, they're going for Roland and Guadetti up top. Watch out for him. He could be a big threat, but they're playing the traditional 4-4-2. Marapan to take this one. He'll launch it high, looping away. Of course, it will be a huge result if Alavaz somehow can maintain this 1-0 aggregate lead that they have. But they're playing a side that have yet to lose a game in La Liga. Six wins out of six. But no hazard, as we know. Just came down with uh, a little bit of a virus, but he's still on the bench if needed as the ball is put through the middle, but Regalon will get there first. He starts today as a left-back. A nice bit of interplay here down the left-hand side with Junior. We know this guy's got a lot of pace and ability. And here he goes one way, then the other. Fantastic run by him. Couple of players in there, delivered in! And Diaz's spectacular effort is over the bar. But that's what... Vinicius Jr. brings to the table. Very dynamic, very quick, an inviting ball in. Just wide. Back to Tony Kroos. He finds Audrey Zola. Wants a little bit of movement, though. Back into Casemiro. Sun. Lovely bit of play, this. Audrey Zola looking near post. Loops over, but uh, the ball's come back out of play. Junior's trying to get there, he couldn't. You can see how deep Alaves are. They're going to have one strict game plan today, and that's going to be to soak up the pressure and try and catch this Real Madrid team on the break, very much like what they did in that first leg. Roland. They've certainly got the players up top to score goals. Roland and Guadetti's not a bad little partnership. He's flicked on. Fed inside. Nice bit of play this. Well played. Audrey Zola and Real Madrid now can possibly bring this forward. Tony Crows looking for Sun. Crows gets it back. Got a little bit fortunate there. Sun wants more. Just trying to play the reverse ball, but it's all very, very narrow. Junior. Regulon now. He's got a good left foot. He's going near post, but it's comfortable for Severa. And Couture can start again with Audrey Zola. Tony Crows, good touch. Pavon. Crows again. Too much by him. Audrey Zola sticks in a foot. And here's a chance now. Led through the middle. Chance for Sun. He is going to get there first. It was straight at the goalie. And it's in. First blood of Real Madrid. And it is. Mariano Diaz with a simple tap in. But this will stem from the high pressure. 
Tony Crowe's poking it through. Son had the acceleration to get there first. Just hit this, but the goalie, not the best hands, and it's 1-0. It has been given right on the edge of the box. Some apologies being made, but that's not going to change the decision. How bad was it? Well, Casemiro actually made the initial foul or the initial challenge and he won the ball. But now you've got a dangerous place. As Casso has a strike, the ball is deflected. Head of clear. Comes back out. There's a strike. Good save by Courtois. A little bit of pressure here. Late in the second half, or the first half, we're not into the second half yet. As the ball's put through the middle, it's a fantastic ball. It's Diaz trying to lay it across the face of the goal, but just didn't have anyone in there. And that will finish the first half. Real Madrid have the goal, but they're going to need one more. So the second half begins, Brasenac has come off, Johnny's come on. The goal by Diaz has put this game absolutely dead even. This should make for a very tantalising second half as the ball's put through there, it was a bit of a, a foot race here. The ball's actually stayed on, and Tony Cruz! Oh, it's a big error by the goalie! But what about that by a volley by the German international World Cup winner of Tony Kroos. What a start that is to the second half. And it all stemmed from this ball. It came back to the goalie. It just tried to keep this on. But look at this technique. To keep that down, half volley, struck with perfection. It's not an easy thing to do, but one player you want it to sit to is that man there. Real Madrid lead now, 2-1. There's Nacho. Andrea Zola, it's got Pavon up the line. Still yet to really see the class of Pavon yet in this season. He is a very good player. Just needs to show a little bit more confidence about his game. A great ball there by Andrea Zola. Roland. Deflection. Well played, Varane sticking to Guadetti as well quickly as he possibly can. Regulon gets it back. He's got Junior one way, and he has found him. A couple of players in there. Question is, how's the delivery? It's gone near post. Not the best ball in the world there, and we may see some changes very shortly. Casemiro, too much by him, he's got to be careful as well because he is the extra line of defence at the back. And uh, Alaves have got some players forward here. Here's Johnny, Guadetti, oh it's a fantastic ball, what a challenge by Varane that is. The pressure continues, well Casso, another great bit of play, this time it's Audrey Zola. And now we've got a real chance for a counter as it's spread out wide to Sun. And he's going to bring it inside. He's going to cut back. Still going. Couldn't get the strike away. Only as far as the right back. We know he's got a good right foot. He's drilled it in. And I think Sun was offside. Well, he may very well not have been. We'll get a replay of this. I think he was onside when this ball was put in back into the mix. He was. That's a chance. Well, Real Madrid making a couple of changes. Hazard comes on with Marcos Lorente. Well, we are down to the final eight minutes. Luigi's made big changes in the sense that players are going to get back now. They're not really going for another goal. They don't want to take the risk, the gamble. Obviously, if they can win it back like this, they'll just try and keep it now. Casemiro's almost going to drop into the hole and play as a centre-back as well. It's a bit of a loose pass there, given away, looking for Hazard. Sun's going to be the low man up top for the time being. Well played Hazard there. Just come on, he's got the fresher legs. He'll be perfectly fine with playing for the final eight minutes, as we say. Andrea Zola just looking to take it to the corner, but it's a bit of a waste by him there. Garcia. It's Johnny. 
Roland. Here is Marin. Well played, Macho. Brilliant play by him there. And now, there's the quality. Brilliant play. The referee blows for full time. And Real Madrid have done enough. There's the frustration. They had a chance today, Alaves, but they've not done enough. And Real Madrid have shown their class with a 2-1 win on aggregates. And Tony Crows with a blistering volley, but possibly a big error there by the goalie. There's the stats for you. 57 to 43%. Five to two shots. And man of the match was Diaz. So the other results, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like uh, Athletic Club are out. They've lost to Real Sociedad. Of course, we advanced just about, but it was closer than we needed to be. Barcelona advancing easily. Uh, Espanyol losing 5-4 to Real Betis on penalties. Sevilla winning 4-0. Valencia winning 6-1. Athletic Madrid through. And Villarreal advancing uh, on aggregate as well. Well, so there's a look at the tournament table. We will face Real Sociedad in the next match. After that, we could face Barcelona in the semi-final there. Uh, they're taking on Real Betis. And we've got Sevilla against Valencia and Atletico Madrid taking on Villarreal. So plenty of big games left to play. Junior keeps increasing, which is good to see. But we will be back, ladies and gentlemen, for the Champions League taking on Olympic Leon. Uh, and the video should start becoming a little bit more free-flowing now. Um, I don't know why the font is so black there. It was a new update on Evo Switcher. Need to fix that, please? Eh, I guess it doesn't matter too much. But yeah, we will be back in the next episode taking on Leon in a, in a really a must-win matchup for us because we're not doing that well in the Champions League yet. Uh, but yeah, as I said, the video should start flowing a little bit more now uh, over the next couple of weeks and months. But until next time, hope you guys enjoyed it. We did what was needed, and we will return. Take care.